Hello everyone, Ashlyn Giza YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk about infertility. So um, I've been ha making numerous videos about infertility. I have infertility part 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, etc. All the way up to part 18 um, that I made yesterday. Today though, I'm going to talk about not only infertility, but I'm going to talk about pre-seed, which is a lubrication that you can use if you are having issues with infertility. So I want to start with my story from my son that I just had two years ago. And um, uh, the first pregnancy that we had, we unfortunately lost the baby. Um, but the second pregnancy was successful because my husband was told, um, because he had low sperm counts, you take um, a one-a-day men's vitamin daily and... Uh, um, uh, CoQ10 and also like to stay active and exercise like even if that's just a quick little jog around your house or doing some sit-ups or some kind of way of being active you know to get things going down there because that makes the sperm more active and I guess helps with the sperm count. So <clears throat> I have been doing my part where um, I, they had me taking letrozole day cycle five through seven. Um, I've been getting blood work to see if I'm ovulating and I am, so that's good news. Um, but unfortunately I haven't been falling pregnant yet. So we are starting to use pre-seed. Now back to my second baby that we had two years ago. He is now two, obviously, because that was two years ago. Um, and he will be three in October 20 of 2023. And, um, so we, um, did kind of the same thing we're doing now. Um, my husband took the daily vitamin. He didn't actually take the CoQ10 though. Um, I ended up taking, um, Clomid and Letrozole. Um, and at that time they had me taking progesterone, but obviously I didn't need to take that because I'm ovulating right now without that and they actually um my ob told me that studies have found that that's like causing cancer and like other bad things so they don't really do that unless it's really really needed now so i'm not taking that and then um like i was saying we actually use the lubrication pre-seed so here's what my box looks like another box that we got before looked different than this so i'm not really sure if this is just they made this box differently or, the, or they decided permanently that they're going to change their box to this. Um, but um, we used that and lo and behold, we ended up pregnant. So it was successful. And um, it before we used this stuff, um, the last time we had a baby, we were getting negative tests after negative tests. So when we started using this, we finally got our positive test. So we thought we forgot, like we actually forgot that we use this stuff. Um, because that was like, like I said, two and a half years ago. And since two and a half years ago, there's been a natural disaster here in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, where there was a Dre show that happened that we lost our home due to the nat a natural, nat natural disaster. And then of course the pandemic. So there was a bunch of things that made us like more than likely forget about this because we're thinking about other, you know, of course, more important stuff like a new home and um, uh, just, you know, staying healthy and, and stuff like that. So and, and just trying to enjoy life a little bit after that all happened. <laughs> so we we um, are using this now. So. Like I said, it's called Pre-Seed. Um, I will read a little bit about it. It is a um, uh, clinically tested formula that helps uh, support sperm quality. And it also says, studies show Pre-Seed fertility lubricant does not interfere with sperm function. So like your other lubes, like KY and other lubes like that, they, they're like a sperm cycle, like they kill the sperm or... They, they interfere with the mobility. Um, it also says clinics um, show that non-sperm friendly lubricants may limit sperm mobility. And that's why fertility experts 
recommend using pre-seed fertility lubricant. Um, it's clinically tested formula designed to be isotonic and pH balance similar to that of the vaginal environment to aid in supporting sperm survival and help support sperm quality, which I already said, and has like a natural filling. Um, so you use it as a personal lubricant for the penile and vaginal applicant and intended to moisturize and lubricate to enhance ease and comfort of intimate sexual activity and supplement the body's natural lubrication. So it's supposed to like copy the women's cervical mucus. Um, it's like for someone like me who doesn't have a thyroid due to cancer and being older, you know, I don't have, I don't, my body doesn't make as much secretion and, um, natural lubricants as it should. Um, so the directions is t designed to mimic the vaginal environment and is effective to support sperm mobility and applied and you have to apply inside the vagina near the cervix. So what you what you would do is there is um it comes with a tube like this and then and and to be honest with you you don't get a whole lot but it and it is pretty expensive especially if you're more on like the like middle class um income like me and my husband but it comes with applicators as well um i i will well let me see Hold on a second. Let me see if I can open this so I can show you guys. 